I've been so lucky to bag myself two days work experience at a UK coral farm. What a brilliant opportunity for a reefer like me who's in their beginning stages to learn more about corals, fragging and also the journey that our corals go through at a UK coral farm before they reach our aquariums. Super excited for this one. It's a little bit different to anything else we've ever done on the channel. So you've guessed it. Let's roll those tiles. So I've just arrived for my day number one of work experience here at Signature Frags. Those that watch the channel will know that this is my actual local LFS store. So I'm quite fortunate in that sense. I've also been told to wear my scruffs, my scruffy clothes. No suits today um, because I'm going to get wet, going to get, uh, well, I don't know, maybe a bit dirty as well. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, we're here, we're in one piece. Let's go and take a look at uh, what's going on. First job of the day is to clean the glass ready for the customers or on, on your home aquarium just so your corals look really nice. Now <laughs> I'm not used to using a magnet as big as this, this Tunzi Jumbo magnet. It's a plumbing workout, I don't know how he does it every single day. Look what I've spotted when I was cleaning the glass. Exquisite SPS frags, check out the cherry boom on the left. So here in the uh, in the back room we're culturing live phyto, just been siphoned off here. That is going straight into the main displays. That's going to be today's coral food. So second job of the day is the live fight. Oh, it looks look how bright green that is. When you give it a little, when you give it a little sniff, you can't smell anything, which is a great sign that your phyto is perfectly healthy. One of three grow out tanks at the farm. Corals spend six months here, colouring up and actively growing, ready for the website. Those that don't make it, put back into quarantine or classed as losses for the farm. This is proper grass. I've been here two hours absolutely gasping. And uh, not even had a cup of yet. Let's get this sorted out. Right, let's take a sneaky look over here. This is the quarantine system, um, or the hospital tank I like to call it. So all the new arrivals. Here we've got some lovely Acropora corals that have just arrived about five weeks ago. Uh, each coral that arrives at the farm undergoes a my oh look at that little wrasse, a beautiful colourful wrasse there that's doing its work through there. Um, obviously picking off any pests that might be. Anyway, uh, each coral that goes through the farm has an intense microbial treatment to clear up any bacteria. They also go through rigorous pest treatments, numerous pest treatments, and they're taken out every single week for a deep inspection for pests as well under the microscope. These little steps and processes just in, reduce the risk for us and increase the chance of success with these corals. But yeah, that's the QT. Uh, in the background, I can hear some customers in the farm, so I'm gonna head out there. It's really good to hear the voices in the uh, farm as well, people coming to shop. We've got a customer in store at the moment and just bought this, what's it called, Ace of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, I knew it was a car. It looks, look at that, absolutely stunning piece. So lucky to get that in their aquarium. This was the perfect place for coral lovers like me. Here's the LPS tank. These corals have been here for six months, colouring up, pest free and super, super healthy. If you spot anything on the video, pause it, remember the time and get in touch with Signature Frags. They do make appointments through the website and Facebook. Their main viewing days are Fridays and Saturdays. Just check out that OG mushroom. This is my first experience of fragging, but hey, what better way to do it than uh, learn from a coral farmer? So, yeah, really excited about this. So, 
so there you have it this is the uh, the ACAM fragging session this is the main uh, colony that, that's going to be going back into the grow out uh, so there's always some in the farm and then there are the four single heads that have been cut very neatly just around the edge of the acan and a little trim on the base so it sits flat on the frag uh, plug so these little rainbow acans should be hitting the website in about october once they've had time to recover right so we're using ceramic these are ceramic plug plugs aren't they these are that's right yeah ceramic plugs we've got 27 beautiful acans just nicely fragged so i'm just going to put these on here it's about to do mass when you're doing a bit of coral farm. I didn't sign up for this. How many got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nowhere near. <laughs> so, a couple of little dabs. I feel it gripping. I think. Is that alright? I've done alright there, I think. Hopefully. Right, here's the next one. I think that'll work. One thing I've learned very early on in this work experience is every job is very time consuming. And there's a lot of work goes into just you know just this fragging which I didn't appreciate until I started to do the job myself but just give them a little rinse off that'll help the uh, the coral glue just set these a cans in place so here at the front of the image we've got the mother colonies so they'll be back in the grow out for a whole year now until they are ready to be cut again but that's um just keeping it sustainable. These these corners of acans now are no longer uh, able to import, so they have to be grown within the UK in coral farms like this. So they'll be growing out for about a year, and then they'll be ready to frag again. The other ones in the background, obviously, they they're going out in the next few months. But I think that's a great job, really, for uh, first time fragging, and especially having to frag acans, rainbows at, at best as well. It's super nice. Day one, lunch, things are getting a bit better, so we're off uh, We're off into the Pear Tree Hotel, get a bit of food and drink. It's quite hard work this, you know, so let's uh, let's get the energy up and, uh, and refresh. Let's go in. Check this out, this is top lunch here. These are high-end collector corals. Here you've got some mother colonies sat alongside the frags. I thought this was great because you can see the health of the mother, but you can also picture of what it's going to look like when it's in your reef tank. On the day where we fragged over a thousand SPS corals, these are going to be hitting the website very shortly. It all takes time, and but this is the way to do it sustainably, and this also is the way that we can maximise the success to the hobbyists to ensure that their corals are healthy and pest-free in their reefs. So the apprentice has been sent to make a cup of tea. What a surprise! He can't do any. I can't work without a cup of tea. So here we go. Nice cup of Yorkshire tea. Get us fueled up. And get us ready for the afternoon session on day one. This is nature's beauty just look at those contrasting montipora at the background you've got the space invader to the left some of my favorite goniopora huge array of goniopora flower pot corals including some rainbows to the top right you've got the torches some very special indos and tiger torches as well I think this is probably the best job that I've done so far since I've been here. Sending the corals out to the customers uh, that, uh, that have purchased this through the website, signaturefrags.com. So what we do is we whip the order up on screen. As you can see, many of the, uh, this is an actual customer order. So many of the coral frags are WYSIWYG. Uh, what you see is what you get. So this person has got some really nice SPS corals come in their way. So once we've got the picture up, it's over to the display tanks, hand-picking the coral out of the display tanks, ready for shipping. So I'm going to show you the next bit of me trying to pack the corals for shipping. So each frag that's been picked, we just clean it up here. So you can see just scratching uh, any detritus off the frag plug. It then goes into its shipping container. That sounds like a <laughs> big thing, but that plastic cup, that just protects it in shipping, make sure it doesn't touch the sides of the packaging. Take your, uh, take your frag. Right, here we go. Just picked out the customer's order. It's an Anacapora TNT. Lovely little piece into the bag. And then over to the packing area. <laughs> over at the packing station now. So we're just going to seal it in, ready for packing. Now, I've never done this before, so hopefully it goes all right. But let's just 
Get it flat, there we go. Am I in the way here? Let me just, uh, just let me hold it down. That should seal the, uh, the tank water in with the uh, frag. Let's try that. There we go. So double sealed, obviously just reducing the risk as it's uh, been dispatched and packaged out to the customers. So I think that should be good. Just need to check with the boss that that's all right. How's that look? It's a yes from me. Oh, nice one. Thanks, mate. <laughs> this piece here, check this out. So this is a pink lemonade. Look how beautiful that is there, look. It's already coloured up. Um, ready to go. And there it goes in the bag. How long we had that one in the shop? In the farm? Years. Years? And it's Years. going out just now. Special Years. moment. So here we are, packaged, signed, sealed, delivered, nearly, well nearly there. Here we go, we've got the styrofoam box, cardboard packaging on the outside, and then in goes the uh, Signature Frags DOA policy, and also some really useful guidance about how to acclimate your corals, and again, reducing the risk and ensuring success with your corals. Right, made it. God, it's a bit windswept out there. So we're here at the uh, post office here, sending our corals. Three boxes. These lovely ladies are going to help us send them off. There we go, mate. That's on there. Sorry about the filming. There's a bit, a bit uh, all over the shop. Are you filming in here? Yeah, I'm just filming here. Yeah, just at the post office counter. <laughs> <laughs> Three boxes. There we go. So this is what happens to your uh, corals. In it goes. Off to the customer. Enjoy your corals. <laughs> oh my goodness. Day two of work experience is done. And I don't think coral farming is for me. We've fragged over a thousand different coral pieces in just one day. And I'm absolutely worn out. Any res or full respect to anybody who runs an LFS or a coral farm. It is hard work. And us hobbyists just don't see how difficult it is. But anyway, those uh, frags that we've just done today, they're gonna be hitting the website in August. So keep an eye out for the latest update. You'll also see signature frags on Instagram. Give them a follow and see the latest update as well on their website. It has been an absolutely brilliant experience. If anybody gets a chance to go and work at a coral farm as a hobbyist, it's a steep learning curve, but I've picked up so much and it has been great fun. For more reefing content, why not join us on the Friday night live stream, 8 p.m. GMT time. That's me, Moggs' Aquarium, Fish Palace, and Bearded Reef uh, for some light-hearted reefing chat. It's been really good. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up now, but if you've really enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps on the YouTube channel. Hit us up in the comments if there's anything particular you'd like to see on this channel, or just comment on the video as well and what you've seen in terms of the content. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Only about 35% of the viewers have subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? More content is uh, on its way, so don't wanna miss that. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. But my work experience days are done. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.